Hello and welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and this is my Sunday vlog. So hello, so happy to see every single one of you. We have a lot to talk about in this vlog. I'm going to be going over my chaos colors for this month. Um, so I'll be showing you guys those. Those are now available in my glitter shop if you guys want to go check them out as well. Um, but this Friday, yeah, October 1st is already this Friday. Oh my goodness. Anyways, <laughs> this Friday, uh, the new Chaos Box for October is going to be released at 8 p.m., just like I always do. I'll make sure to kind of go over that a little bit more in my ending thing too, but this Friday, October 1st, next month's box is, next month's box is gonna be released, but we're gonna go ahead and go over September, th this month's colors today. I'm gonna be finishing up my, what should have been my Christmas plaid tumbler. <laughs> now a spooky Halloween tumbler. I'm happy with the end results, so I hope you guys are too. <laughs> and I'm also going to be get starting on some tumblers with this month's colors, some of this month's colors, so we're going to be get starting on that today as well. I do have a drink this morning, just a simple type of ombre one that I did. That's it. That's all I have for today. <laughs> but I do have my drink already this morning, just, just water. <laughs> but I'm ready to wake up prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. So this month's box, September box, was a Halloween inspired type box. So it says on the back side here, September chaos box inspired by Glittertastic Halloween movies. So that's what I went with. <laughs> We are gonna start off on the Hocus Pocus side that I was inspired by. The first one on the list I have here is called Winifred. Now this is a multicolor sized chunky in shades of green and burnt orange. And I thought it really looked like Winifred or Winnie from the movie with her red hair and her green dress. Now next up we have Mary. This is a 164th fine cut multicolor with shades of deep purple, green, and gold. Now this is a metallic, so these are true to color with all those little colors kind of mixed in there. And as you guys know, my fine colors come in four ounce shakers and anything that is chunky like Winifred comes in a two ounce bag. As of right now, I am working on bottles, but bags are right now. So Sarah, this is Sarah. It is a little similar to Mary, but it is different. It's more of like a pinkish, purple color and it is uh with it has little opals in it so it has kind of a green undertone to it as well now we're going to move on to the nightmare before christmas theme that i had this is called sally and it's a multi-color and size chunky and high quality opalescent shades of white and silver with pink and green undertones now the pink and green are very slight only because it is an opal now this is called pumpkin king and this is actually a polymer clay as you can tell and it looks like jack skellington and any of my polymer clay or my shapes come in one ounce bags. And that was my September Chaos box. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait for you to see next month's box. Okay, so now onto the tumblers that I wanna do. So this first tumbler, I'm just working on a 20 ounce skinny. I spray painted it this beautiful kind of green color. Well, not kind of, it is green. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apply my epoxy, which when I'm working with chunky glitters, I like to apply more epoxy. It helps those fine glitters lay flat. So that's, I've always done it this way. It just makes it so much more easier. But when, you guys will see, once I apply those glitters here, it's going to be extremely smooth. And all I'll have to do after this is dried, I'm using my quick coat epoxy for this. And I'm going to coat the entire thing in this glitter. But after I apply this glitter, it's extremely smooth. The only difference is, you know, obviously you don't want to just stick it up uh, to hang dry. You want to go ahead and put on your turner because we did add a little bit more glitter. Or not glitter. Oh my goodness. Epoxy than usual. <laughs> And I meant f not fine glitter, chunky glitter. Oh my goodness. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be recording today. Thank goodness this is just vlog day and not a tutorial. <laughs> Although I wouldn't have included me messing up my words. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on to Sally, shall we? So I went ahead and I spray painted my tumbler in white. This is white. Okay, not kind of white. <laughs> 
I spray painted it white. I did the same thing. I put a bunch of epoxy on there so that way my glitters were nice and smooth. I'm gonna let that turn on my turner. While those are curing, because I, I went ahead and I let those cure for a couple hours, and then I applied a second coat of epoxy over top, and then we're gonna get to kind of doing something up on the one with the Winifred. But until then, I went ahead and finished up my crazy, what should have been Christmas plaid tumbler thing <laughs> with my drips and stuff. Now this font that I'm using, I just got off of Defont. I believe it's just called Drips, is all it was called. So that's what I'm using. I just said, what did I say? Sweet dreams are made of the this. I had to look that up because I thought it was these because that's how they sing it in the song, but it's this. So, you know, you had to have it right, you know? <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you guys this in a little bit as well, but I went ahead and I added more um, of these splatter drips to it. I had to put something in the background so I didn't get my paint everywhere, but I just used, I'll show you the paint too. It's the Christy Taylor Pantheon paints. Her husband is still running that business, just so you guys know. Um, I miss her every day, but her husband's still running it, and of course I'm still gonna use her products. But what I'm gonna tell you and show you later once um, at the ending credits here, ending credits I don't know anyways um after i got done doing these splatters which i just took my finger as you can see and just flicked it right across my tumbler it's as easy as that and they they barely dripped but i went ahead and i took that same paint and took my finger and just ran it right around the rim and it gave a really awesome drip around the top as well and i really like this color i think i think it really does look like the blood splatters that we're after it's a beautiful kind of brick red color now don't mind me, I'm just rearranging the camera so you guys can see better, okay? I, I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go, that's a little bit better of an angle. Now, I know this tumbler did not turn out 100% the way that I would like it, so I'm actually gonna be gifting this to a family friend. Um, my husband's friend's wife really likes Halloween, all things Halloween related, so I'm gonna go ahead and gift this to her because her husband's kind of been asking for a tumbler for her for a while, and I figured this would probably be the per the most perfect one for her. I know that she would really enjoy this. So I went ahead and let these splatters dry, and then when I came back out to my garage, I went ahead and I added the drips, but I forgot to record it. But I'll show you guys at the end. But that's how this turned out, my my mess up tumbler. That <laughs> That that's how it turned out and here. I'm just gonna show you guys the paint really quick I believe they all come in a kit. I don't know if you can choose a specific color or not I don't know what the exact color is like I said it just came in a kit so that is from Christy Taylor creations I tell you I really love that quick coat epoxy. I, I'm serious. I worked I did this this morning like I got it all to, and then I was ready to have this next step done okay <laughs> So it already has its coat of epoxy over the raw glitter and everything nice and smooth And now I'm going to do a simple power wash over the top as you guys seen there. I use what did I use? I just used a neon green. It was a Krylon neon green and I'm just going to do a very basic power wash over it I'm just going to spritz it down really good. No right or you know right or wrong here However, you want to do it. I just kind of mostly covered up the glitter. I didn't want too much of it with this green, so I just covered up as much as I could, and I thought that was enough. Now, with the neon spray paints, they're very translucent, so you really have to shake that can really, really, really well. And then I went over this a couple times, as you can see, I'm really loading it on. And then I actually let the tumbler kind of sit a second, so that way, once I go to wash it off, everything won't wash off because like I said, it's very, very translucent. So I let it sit for a second. Then I'm just going to very carefully rinse it off. I'm not gonna like spray the crud out of it with my hose. I just very gently rinsed it and that was it. Now the wine tumbler that I did up with the Sally, this needs another coat. I need to trim the top there and this does need to be sanded. Typically it's a lot smoother than this. I, didn't, I wasn't able to apply as much of epoxy as I wanted to or it would have been a lot smoother, but this definitely needs to be sanded one more time before I move on to the next step with that. But this I'm gonna go ahead and let dry and next week we will finish these up together. So my two tumblers that I got started on um, I'm pretty excited for them. I still have to get the decals together and stuff, and we will get those finished up next weekend together. It won't take as long as my, my plaid tumbler. 
<laughs> I really didn't know where I was going with that, but. So this is what I still have to put. I'm gonna put two last finishing coats on top of this. I'm actually going to gift this to a family friend. So, I mean, <laughs> she's really into spooky stuff. And the drips around the top, I used the same exact paint as I did when I did my splatters here. And I just took my finger and just dabbled it across the top. And that's how I made my drips to match everything else. So she loves it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and give that one to her. <laughs> Who knows, right? A happy little accident, I, you know? <laughs> So again, this Friday, October 1st, um, October's Chaos Box will be released. If you already have a subscription, you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you notice that you do have a subscription and it doesn't seem like it went through, all you have to do is reach out to me and I'll let you know if it is still active or not because sometimes cards might not go through and then you go won't get that month's box. So just make sure you know, <laughs> you will get charged the day that you signed up. So if you signed up on the third, you won't be charged until the third. I am doing the boxes a little bit different this month. Um, I was shipping them all out at one time, but this month I'm not gonna do it that way. As I get the orders, they're gonna be out the door. So that way it's not too overwhelming for my post office and for myself. It just makes it a little bit easier. But you guys can either do a subscription or you can just do a one-time box. It's completely up to you. If you just tap on Chaos Box and tap it again, you'll be able to read the full description on what everything entails. And the boxes, I do keep them up until they sell out. So I do add more and more every month. And then once it's sold out, it's gone until the following month. And then you can re-sign up for that. And also if you need to cancel your subscription box and you used PayPal, um, I found that you can't cancel through my website. You have to go into your PayPal to cancel. But if you reach out to me, I can cancel your subscription for you if you would like me to. It's completely up to you. It's okay to reach out to me and, and I'll do it for you. Not a big deal to me either way, however you want guys want to do it. But but if you play, you played, you paid with your credit card and all that, you'll be able to go in and manage your subscription there and cancel if you need to. So... So my tumblers with the Sally and the Winifred on it, I'm pretty excited for, like I said earlier. Um, I know what I wanna do to it, so, and we will get that done next weekend together. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I have to get the kids ready for school tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, I gotta get the kids ready. Wash clothes, dinner, all that fun stuff. I hope that you guys have an amazing week, an amazing rest of your day, an amazing week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.